Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, this is Magwai the Akioge. Welcome to the West Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about the map and traveling to different locations such as towns and NPCs in the West. But before we begin, please click subscribe to never miss anything from the West. The map is divided into 15 different counties which can be named by the alliance that holds the largest fort, with the exception of County 15, which is in the center of the map and is home to the Asomia Fort, which cannot be claimed by any alliance. The counties, prior to naming, are numbered from left to right, 1 through 7, and 8 through 14. New players will generally start in County 14. Navigating the map might seem a little daunting, which is why the minimap is such a useful tool. The minimap located in the upper right hand corner of your screen will help you find anything you need in the west. On the minimap there are three squares below the map that help you center on specific things, such as forts your town or alliance own, your own town, and your character. The flag allows you to place markers on the map that you can then come back to. When the minimap is opened, it will show you the last county you clicked on and depending on what is selected in the menu, it will show you much more than that. Some of the most important things to see on the map are your character location, NPCs, your town, and forts. You can also select other options to see, such as other towns or ghost towns, which appear as red and black dots on the map. Forts appear blue or red, with blue forts belonging to your town or alliance. Your character will appear as a yellow cowboy hat while your town will appear as a white house and can be seen both on the minimap and the county overview. This helps to orient you to where you are on the map. NPCs or quest givers appear as yellow circles with exclamation points in them. Two of the most important NPCs on the map are the ghost town and the Indian reservation which have daily quests you can complete. Angus also has daily quests for different rewards. These NPCs will not be visible until you finish the Save the Saloon 2 questline. The Ghost Town, Indian Reservation, and Angus will not disappear. However, other NPCs may have time, item, or quest requirements and will disappear after finishing an event or questline. To travel to an NPC, click on the yellow circle and it will center the NPC on your screen. When you open the NPC menu, there will be a walk button that will take your character to the NPC. Traveling to other towns is similar. You click on the town to open the town menu and then click the signpost to travel there. The minimap also allows for searching for specific jobs. Searching for jobs might seem difficult if you are unsure of the name of the job, but the minimap allows you to search for either a specific job or a specific product that the job produces. When the job that you are looking for is found, it will be seen as a green hammer on the minimap. To walk to the job, click the hammer to open the job, then click the job to set the time and your character will walk there and immediately start the job. All the markers you have placed will appear in a drop down menu at the bottom of the mini map. When you click on the marker it will open on the map and you can travel to the job, town, port, or NPC you placed it by. You will be unable to travel solely to the marker itself. Traveling is a necessary aspect in the west. Because of this your travel speed is extremely important. A new player will have an increase in speed until level 15. At level 15, the character will then walk at a normal level, which will seem quite slow because of how fast the initial speed was. There are only a few things that can speed up travel time. The first is skill. Having higher horseback riding will help your character move faster. Adding gear that increases speed is also helpful, such as a donkey or mustang. The speed increase will be shown when you open the item menu. The Indian set is a good set for new players to increase their speed. Almost all the items in the set are available to purchase in town stores, with only two items being strictly obtained through quests. However, you can also obtain speed sets from other players or through events offered in the West. You are also able to mix and match different items to increase your speed if you look for anything with horseback riding or mobility as a skill bonus on it. To see how these items affect your speed, click your avatar to open your character overview and you will see how fast you are traveling. To increase speed for a limited time, you can also use buffs such as Rocket Turtle Shell which is purchasable in the shop using bonds or nuggets and increases your speed dramatically, but only lasts for 10 minutes. You can also purchase buffs such as Concentrate or Saddle Pommel which increase speed per move. Both these buffs are made by a Master Saddler. Character class also plays a role in how fast you can travel. 
with dueler speed being increased by 10% compared to other character classes. Being able to travel fast in the West will help you accomplish more. It will help you get to quest givers, jobs, or fort fights faster. Having a good speed set or good buffs on hand will help in your travels all across the West map. I hope you like this video on the map and travel in the West. Until next time, keep enjoying the West! Thank you.